Today we are talking solely about Japanese booster boxes from both a collecting and an investing standpoint. I'm going to tell you guys what I think are the best current pickups moving forward for both collecting and investing, like long-term gains. I'm going to show you what websites where I have bought uh, from before. And I, we're going to just talk all about the uh, economics of Japan, understanding that. I think that is very important to understand that uh, not a lot of people are talking about uh, currently. And let's just jump in with that real quick. Uh, just to preface, if you guys aren't familiar, uh, Japan is in a little bit of a recession. They're not doing particularly very well. So they one, they need the money. And two, your currency, whether you're in the U.S. like me, your dollar or whatever it is is going to go further in Japan just because they are doing bad. So it, it's very unfortunate for them as a country, but it is good for us uh, as collectors and investors. So whether you just want to rip some boxes, rip some packs, or you want to have some sealed product to invest in, um, this is a really great time to be buying. Uh, in the recent past, uh, Japanese boxes were very, very expensive. Uh, if you guys are, you guys are probably familiar with this, the 151 excuse me 151 boxes were over 200 dollars at one point and during covid a lot of the english boxes were hard to find very expensive and a lot of people moved over to japanese and it really ran the prices up but traditionally japanese boxes have been very cheap very affordable not that they're not good investments uh so also to preface if if you're looking for the best possible investments and your uh best possible return on investment roi it's probably not Japanese boxes, not that you can't uh, make some good money there, but usually, traditionally English, uh, booster boxes uh, and sealed product uh, tend to perform better, but there's always exceptions to every rule, but that that's just kind of a little bit of a, of a background there, so if you want the best bang for your buck, it's probably not Japanese, but, you know, I'll give you an example of, so for me, I'm currently... I obviously I have some Japanese boxes here. I got more Japanese boxes um, in my in my sealed collection. Um, I'm not a ton. I am way more heavily invested in English. But one, I like opening Japanese, and then two, I like diversifying just a little bit within the uh, my Pokemon card investments. So, and I just think it's fun. I like having the boxes to display as well. So um, that is just me though, personally, but let's just jump, uh, straight into this and I'll talk about, so the first website that I want to talk about, and I've talked about this before in some of my other Japanese 151 videos, this is sneaker dunk. Now they have an app and it's also a website. If you're not familiar, what this is, it, it's a reselling platform essentially. Uh, I am pretty sure based off the name, they started with sneakers obviously, but they do trading cards. As you can see, singles, sealed packs and boxes. And what, what they do is there's a little, um, like this one, they had a sale anyways, I bought some of these, but uh, there's a little sticker on here. So they are an authenticator, similar to eBay with their authenticity guarantee. So uh, there'll be a Japanese seller, they'll sell on Sneaker Dunk, they ship to Sneaker Dunk, Sneaker Dunk authenticates it and then ships it to you. So Sneaker Dunk is a third party authenticator and shipper. So Something that is rampant with 151 is fake boxes. If you guys want to go back a few videos, uh, I, w I had a fake box. Now that came from eBay, not from Sneaker Dunk. I bought multiple times from Sneaker Dunk. I've never had an issue with it being legit. It is a concern uh, for any sealed investment. Um, you guys need to understand is if you are buying any box, even English, uh, that your box you know because you're not going to open it, right? If you're going to keep it for years, it's always a concern that you could be buying a fake. So it's important that you inspect them upon arrival, but I haven't had any issues with Sneaker Dunk. And I do want to touch on a few things real quick on Sneaker Dunk. We'll just, we're getting to the boxes. I, I do apologize. I, I kind of want to preface all this before we get started. That there is a, a shipping fee and a service fee. Now for me, I am in California. I don't know. I think it's a little bit cheaper for the shipping for me, just location wise. It's usually around 30 bucks. And then the service fee is like 10. So you're going to add like 40 bucks roughly to your order. Now, that's not going to make sense if you're wanting to buy like right here one Japanese box of 151. If you add 40 bucks to that, you're going to be paying way more than market. So with this website, you're going to want to be buying at least five boxes. Usually around 8 to 10 is the sweet spot I found. And we'll, we'll dive into that. But they're a reputable seller. You have buyer protection. And then also something that I don't know if you guys are familiar but you do have 
uh, buyer protection through your credit card uh, or your debit card company. They will protect you as well. So um, y- that's always a pain to have to deal with uh, getting your money back from something like that. But you are protected in multiple ways. Uh, you just want to make sure that you're looking at at them when they arrive. I think eBay and some other ones are a little bit more of a greater risk. Um, well, like I said, I've I've used um, Sneaker Dunk. So let's just take a look at what they have available here. We got like Scarlet Violet Base. We got the new, um, so here's an example of new singles. They got the Terrapagos at 84 bucks. If you're wanting to pick them out, they got different uh, like grades here. Like A, A tier is like near mint. Um, so they have tons of boxes, tons of cards you could see. Uh, I'll touch on my my picks here in a second, but I just kind of want to show you guys. Um, you got Twilight, the new uh, Twilight Masquerade, starting at 27 a box. Paradox Rift at 26. Uh, obviously, they're called different in uh, Japanese. They have different names for them, but you know, Obsidian Flames, uh, which is Ruler of the Black Flame. Um, this is uh, Clay Burst. I think that's uh, Paldea Evolved, I believe. But you can get singles here too. Um, Tons of stuff, right? It's it's pretty cool. They have all sorts of stuff, and uh, so yeah, we're we're not gonna dive too deeply into this, but I, let's get straight to an example. Now, obviously, for me, one of my best picks for long term, and it's not a it's not a big surprise, is Japanese one fifty one, for obvious reasons. Now, what you guys need to understand is they are printing the ever loving crap out of the set right now. They hate scalpers. They hate it and they need the money because they're not doing well. And it's just selling. It's just selling, 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 selling. I don't know how long they're going to keep reprinting it for. Um, we were in the 40s. We were we were in the 40s with these boxes um, from Sneaker Dunk. Now we're, we're creeping up on 60. So we are seeing some growth there. Um, they could smash that back down with another reprint. So this is a very long-term play for me. Uh, or you're just looking to rip boxes or maybe a little bit of both. You can open some boxes, you can keep some sealed, but I'm talking like three, five plus year, three to five plus years down the road uh, for these boxes. It's going to take a long time for these to recover and just keep that in mind. But when you're on here on the website and you see 58, then you click on the quantity. Um, this is what you're going to see. So now this is where it starts to get interesting. So you get down to around 10 boxes and you're at um, 596 uh, per for 10. So just under $60 per box. And then when you add, it's going to end up being like $63, $64 ish shipped and all of that, depending on where you live. It can vary. So, and sometimes you will find different quantities will have different pricing. It's not like a set thing, it's because they're from different sellers. So, just keep that in mind. It really so you see how like right here, eleven boxes is seven seventy four, but if you get twelve, it's seven twenty eight, because that is from a different seller. And right here, like thirteen for a thousand, but fourteen for eight fifty nine. So you'll have to do the do the math and figure out and watch this because sometimes better deals will pop up. Um, but these are great ways to get authentic one fifty one boxes for good prices. And we'll touch on, uh, like, this is what they've been going for on eBay. So sometimes it doesn't make sense. And like I said, you have to get the right quantity, but they've been selling for 73, 65, 73, 65. Um, and these are with shrink. So, and the sneaker dunk, the boxes only come with shrink. They don't, they won't authenticate them without shrink. So that also is a plus because there is a lot of uh, the Pokemon centers and stuff. If uh, I should have touched on this earlier. They're removing the shrink wrap on a lot of boxes. And then that doesn't mean that the boxes aren't legit, but they're they're just removing the, the shrink wrap. So uh, some, some are selling without shrink. So if you want for your best return for your money long term, you're going to want to try and get boxes with shrink wrap. All right, next up, um, let's see here, we have, okay, so this is V-Star Universe. And this is another set that I think is very, very, very worth picking up, especially for a long-term hold. V-Star Universe is gonna be like our Crown Zenith equivalent for English. And yeah, I mean, say no more, right? So uh, if you wanna rip some, some good packs or same thing, you want to have a great investment for a long-term hold. Uh, these are solid sets. And these are full booster boxes in the Japanese equivalent. It's not different. It's not like the specialty sets here, right? 
So if we pull up the quantities here, um, give you a little bit idea of the pricing, 10 boxes, I mean, similar, 10 boxes uh, for 59 bucks. So you're going to be in the low 60s by the time that is sh with shipping and everything. I mean, look at this. This is kind of crazy. You just got to be careful. But like 14 boxes, somebody selling for 3700 So yeah, it's weird. Look at the numbers. See what adds up for you. Um, if, if you don't want to spend that much, I'm going to give you uh, another alternative here coming up uh, where you can get lower boxes, a little bit higher of a price, but they're guaranteed to be authentic as well, and you don't have to worry about the eBay risk. Um, so we're, we're going to get to that in a second as well. So 151 and uh, V-Star Universe are super, super solid pickups, great sets for long-term uh, long uh, profit gains there is what we're aiming for. Next up, they, uh, if you aren't familiar as well, they announced a reprint of Lost Abyss, which is uh, the Japanese Lost Origin equivalent. That's going to be carried by the power of the Giratina. Uh, it's beautiful in Japanese. It's beautiful in any language. Um, but that, that card demands a premium. And so they're a little bit more expensive right here, starting at 64 bucks. So if we pull up the price breakdown, there's not as many, uh, right? Like you can't even get them in some of these quantities. Uh, but you know, 10 boxes for 63. So you're going to end up being about 66, 67 shipped for all of those, but keep an eye on these, um, just an, an alternative way to be picking these up. I'm not, uh, I'm not sponsored by sneaker dunk. They don't pay me or anything. Not, I wish, but, uh, I've just used them before and it's been beneficial. I'm not saying that that sneaker dunk is the only in the best way, uh, shop around, but they are a good way to get authentic boxes. We'll look right here. Um, so this is this is a older sale. Um, this was from May, I believe. But this was a uh, Lost Abyss box that sold. This was in May for one hundred and eighty dollars. So this is what how how much that uh, box has come down. And I just I'm showing this to you guys because uh, this shows you over time, and it's going to take a while what this box can get back up to potentially or near that price. So you could be close to tripling if it can get back to this price um, depending on your entry point so just to try and show you guys um, you know what what they were at one point so yeah and it wasn't too long ago but yeah reprints can drive these prices down quite a bit um, then let's just take a jump over to eBay as well this is just going to show you um, you guys can hop on eBay yourselves obviously but this is going to show you what people are selling uh, different Japanese boxes for currently you're getting Lost Abyss for 85. Um, you got the new Stellar Miracle for 48, but then also for 59 over here. I mean, it could be a kind of all over the place, honestly. Um, Triple Beat for 51. Like that seems some of these like that's why I go to Sneaker Dunk or other places when I can. If you can get them for cheaper and they're going to be authentic, um, Raging Surf for 45. So a lot of these sets, you know, um, Shiny Treasure, which is the Paldean Fates, um, only. 39 bucks shipped so a lot of these are cheap still so that's why kind of being a little more picky with the uh sets that i'm picking personally um, but that brings me to our last uh, seller here now i'm once again i have l literally zero affiliation with uh pokey any um, I just know that he has a very good reputation of having authentic boxes and he's usually a little bit more expensive he tends to be, but there are a few things that you can get from him. One, you just literally, you have the peace of mind of genuine boxes. He is a U.S. seller, right? Um, he has a YouTube channel if you guys want to check it out. Uh, he doesn't know who I am, but, um, you're going to pay a little bit more, but he also has cases available. So if you want to get sealed Japanese cases, uh, um, this is another way for you guys to go. You don't, um, you get quick shipping from the U S already to you and you don't have to worry about, uh, fake boxes or anything. And if there's an issue, he's going to make it right. That's what I've proven. Uh, I've seen proven by him, uh, checking out his socials and hearing from other people positive reviews, good seller. So this is just another option. Um, he has pretty much everything on here. I mean, literally everything. And 
something else that I'll also touch on that I wasn't really going to touch on in this video, but just from a collecting standpoint or pack ripping standpoint, something that's interesting and I've dabbled with is opening other languages besides Japanese, like Korean. Um, sometimes these Korean boxes, depending, can uh, be a lot cheaper. You can get EV Heroes for 65. Um, it really depends. And there's like, let's check it out. I know he's been he's been getting some Thai. I don't know what the Thai boxes have been going for. Yeah, these are bigger boxes. So I'd have to look into this. But there are other languages that you guys can be opening if you just want to rip some packs. Um, these seem a little bit more expensive. So for me, I'm going to mainly lean Japanese when I can. But uh, just keep in mind that these are available. Um, Let's see, like, if we click on this, if it shows the case price. So you can get a sealed case for eight seventy-five. So if we did the math here real quick, I'm not that good in my head. So that's seventy-two a box. So you're gonna pay seventy-two a box, um, and he's out of stock right now. So, um, but yeah, you can probably message him and I'll let you know when those are available again. But 72 a box for a case, which is interesting. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful. I don't normally touch on Japanese boxes and stuff and like singles. Um, I don't really dabble too much with the singles, but I've been asked a few times like what I think about Japanese boxes for, for long-term investing. And I'm gonna reiterate what I said at the beginning again. So. English is always going to be the best, in my opinion, but I like to dabble in Japanese. If you guys want to go full bore into Japanese, I don't, if you're smart about it, I don't think it can be bad. That's just my opinion is I wouldn't, I wouldn't only invest in Japanese. Um, I think there's a lot of power right now with the English card market, uh, specifically Pokemon, but other TCGs as well. Seeing a lot of strength, a lot of conventions, um, even with all these alt arts coming down and some of the boxes coming down, um, that's normal and that's good because we had crazy run ups. But the English market is strong, very strong. So that's that's where I'm mainly at. But uh, yeah, Japanese is fun. Japanese is fun. I'm rambling a little bit, so I'm going to end this one. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far in the video and you're not already subscribed, obviously you enjoyed the content. So do me a favor, hit the subscribe button below, hit the thumbs up, and then leave me a comment. Let me know if you are invested in Japanese, uh, thinking about investing in Japanese, or you just collect Japanese, anything. Let me know. Uh, let me know if you learned anything from this video. It was helpful at all. I'll catch you guys in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.